The 2018 Minnesota election season has turned into a game of musical chairs. Tonight, WCCO learned the ex-wife of Congressman Keith Ellison is trying to replace him. Kim Ellison filed paperwork to run for the 5th District Congressional seat. Keith Ellison gave up his campaign for that seat when he filed to run for Attorney General of Minnesota today. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily has been following all the movements, and there are a lot of them. She's live at the state capitol right now. Hi, Jen. There are sure are, Frank. Uh, there was sort of a mad dash today to file for open state and congressional seats, and it all started when current Attorney General Lori Swanson filed to, be, to become governor. With the attorney general seat vacant, it created a domino effect. Democratic Congressman Keith Ellison decided to run for the position, opening the race for the 5th Congressional District. DFLers jumping in that race? State Representative Ilhan Omar, the nation's first Somali American legislator. State Senators Patricia Torres Ray and Bobby Joe Champion. Former House Speaker Margaret Anderson Kelleher and Ellison's ex wife and Minneapolis school board member Kim Ellison. Research over time shows that in open seat races, the candidates who have the best shot of becoming a candidate and winning the general election are current or former state legislators. Well, that plays out, Ellison turns his attention to the race for attorney general. U of M political science professor Catherine Pearson says he made a name for himself as vice chair of the DNC and voicing opposition to major party views. It also suggests that he's interested in statewide Minnesota politics. Attorney generals have frequently run for governor of Minnesota, so who knows? I don't know what his higher ambitions are, but he's clearly an ambitious politician. Ellison says he's ready for the job. The attorney general's job is to stand for people and fight for them to make sure that uh, when they are trying to put food on the table or trying to buy something or get an account or make a loan or whatever, that they have a powerful advocate. And uh, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to be as the Minnesota Attorney General. And other DFL and Republican candidates have filed for those open seats, but the landscape could still change until Thursday. That's a deadline for candidates to drop out of the race. And while the primaries typically have a low turnout, Pearson thinks this August will be hotly watched. That's because of these interesting races, Frank. Yeah, probably turn out some more voters for sure. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, stay with WCCO on air and online. We'll have continuing coverage of campaign 2018.